as a unit. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Crew Cab Dart YouTube channel. Today, we're on our way to Mo Party. And uh, so far, we've probably knocked out, I don't know, 35, 40 miles. I mean, it's been really uneventful. We got up, ate breakfast, hit the road, and like I said, we're just a little piece down the road. The dark's running great, uh, coolant and everything. I mean, it's just doing good. Can't really complain about anything. Looks like my fan shroud's still holding on good. Everything's looking good, so we're just, uh, actually don't even need fuel. I would just a bathroom break for now. But uh, we're gonna be taking a similar route as to what Jerry and I took going to the start of power tour, which coincidentally was in the same place at Bowling Green. So we'll be seeing kind of the same scenery. But yeah, I mean, so far we're doing good. The only issue we're running into is the old dart. <laughs> leaks water from up around the windshield like oh my oh hello brother pretty good actually um i've had the windshield replaced and it has a new gasket but something tells me it's not sealing so well that's fun but other than that no issues smooth sailing I'll keep you posted. first official gas stop of the trip we filled up once when we left the house but I think we're 191 and a half miles from home now a bunch of it was back road but we did take the uh, the highway for about 50 something of those miles so we were running 70 75 80 some parts of it you know so I'm pretty excited to see what the mileage is it seems to be much better so this is gonna be our last fill up before we get to the venue itself I'm gonna go ahead I put some 93 in it because I know I'm going to be beating on this thing and I want to give it its best possible chance of life. Uh, so far, the car is running really good. I'm, I'm watching the aces learn on the highway and everything, uh, you know, correct air fuel ratios and stuff. So that's, that's pretty neat to watch. Uh, everything seems to be running really good. Temperature's holding great, oil pressure and everything. So I'm, I'm anxious to see how many gallons we use. I really wish it wouldn't push fuel out onto my trim because it's going to eat my paint up there. My oh, 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 there it goes. There it went. There it went. So 11 and a half gallons to go 191. I think it's 191 and a half. Dad, give me a phone. I need to do cal calculations. Okay, so... All right, so I just think it was 191 and a half divided by 11 and a half. Oh, well, that's not near as good as I was expecting, but, but I will say that I kind of drove it hard and I was running pretty good on the highway. So I may try to do a little back road stretch and really see what I could get. So that's 16.6. My overall best with the car is 18. My average with the car was always like 14 and a half, 15. So we are seeing an improvement so far. But I really think if I was to get this out and just take a 
take a back road sample of this, like like I did with the 18, because that was just 100% like me running 60 mile an hour. So, may try to do a little back road test session and see if, uh, with the fuel injection, see if it helped me a little. I really think it did, but I think a back road test session will be good. So, this is our last stop before we make it to Bowling Green. I believe we're um, 85 miles from the track, so we're ready to we're ready to hit the road and make it the last leg. Well, we run into our first uh, issue on the trip. I noticed it back at the last gas station. I uh, I was under the hood just checking over, checking over the oil and checking over some things, and I noticed that my lower fan trowel bolt was gone. This one was still there. I just took it out because uh, we found the nearest Ace Hardware. I grabbed a couple of bolts and nylon lock nuts. And so I'm gonna replace all these with bolts and nylon lock nuts. And then we should be should be good to go. The rest of the shroud, it don't look like it hurt anything. I don't know how long it was like that, but we're gonna get it taken care of. Maybe we'll and then we'll be back on the road. Well, we have made it to Beach Bend Raceway Park. We've already gone to the hotel and checked in and threw a couple things out. Now we're headed to get registered and see if they're doing autocross and go see a couple of friends. All right, we've made it inside the venue here. Unfortunately, we brought the bad weather with us. Uh, when we right when we pulled up, it was nice and sunny and pretty, and now now it is raining. But we're here. Uh, Got to get the car tech tomorrow, and uh, we'll see what we can get into for the night. But for now, we're at a standstill. Well, unfortunately, due to the weather, they called the show early, so we just left, got something to eat. I cleaned up on the car a little bit, and now we're finally adding the uh, patina sauce. We got the car washed off and dried pretty good. I added my decals. I figured now was a good time to add the patina sauce. And man, this car's gonna look really, really good whenever I get it finished. I have the patina sauce everywhere on the car. I've uh, I put two layers on, I buffed it off. I was out here with some good company, so I, I kind of hated to pick a camera up, you know, so I just I just worked and talked and, you know, we just, we had a good time with some good people. That's another great thing about coming out to events like this is just the people that you see just in your hotel parking lot that'll come up and, and talk to you for hours. And it's just, just a good time, it's just, a great part of all of it but here we are you my my poor poor phone camera does not do this justice I'm, I'm sure you could tell everything is much more rich than it was before like the colors are a lot deeper you can see the sheen so like I said, I put two coats on and then I've gone back, I've, I've let them set up. I've gone back and kind of buffed off the excess. And that is just exactly what this car needed. straight here and barely caught the driver's meeting but we're we're all drivers meeting up now we're waiting on the tech guy to come around and uh, we're gonna start autocrossing so i gotta get gotta get the car ready gotta get my helmet ready i'll check back in here comes the autocross i don't know how we're gonna do we're gonna do something 
Maybe. at the autocross and uh, I went okay I think I run like a 51 something uh, the car kind of acted up a little bit not sure what happened there first time that's ever happened so we're uh I don't know I looked at the limiter I wouldn't hit the limiter I don't know what was happening so we're, we'll uh we'll just go out and try again and see what it does maybe I'll do it again who is, the, is this the stick it is the stick well I don't quite drive like him but I look like him <laughs> You got a cool car though, at least. That's all that matters, ain't it? Yeah, yeah. You got fuel injected six speed behind a Magnum 360 or 318? It's uh, what? Hold on. Is it a 360? Yeah, 360 Magnum. Nice. 256 fuel injection. This thing will fly. I'm ready. I don't know if you're ready. I'm gonna lock the door. Yeah, you, you better make sure it's shut, really.
Okay, so I rigged all my air fuel ratios up. I lowered the timing, and it seems to be doing better. It's still, I think it's fuel sloshing really. So I'm gonna go put some fuel in it after this round of autocross, and we'll see what it does. Otherwise, I've been improving every time I've went out, which is which is good, I, I suppose. So. Well, I think we have another couple times we'll be able to go, and then uh, then it'll be like intermission. So. I'm just gonna keep at it for now. Sick. It's powered by a 2 2 turbo stick shift. This thing's cool. This thing is really cool too. All wheel drive 426. Supercharged. I think pretty bad news. Then we gotta jump. Cool stuff. That's pretty neat.
right, so I think that's gonna be all the, all the autocross for today. I run into a little bit of an issue, I'll show you. But I think next up, we're moving to drag racing. So I'll be able to take this thing down a quarter mile, down a quarter mile track. Uh, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but I'm, I smoke in a certain corner. And in that corner, we're hard braking, turning left. And uh, that just, hard braking, oil comes to the front, turning left, oil comes this way. And I believe I'm sucking oil right through my PCV valve. And that's why I'm oiling the track up. But it is okay. Everything else otherwise is fine. So, car actually done really good. A best of 45.5, which isn't too bad for somebody that don't know what they're doing. I would say, I'm happy with it. So, next up, drag race. In the stage and lanes i don't think i'm gonna two-step it first hit i think i'm just gonna leave out and see if we can go down the track then we'll two-step it maybe if we don't blow it up wish me luck
So I got like really, I guess you could say busy. A lot of people want to talk and talk about the car and they, they had all kinds of questions. And so it was good talking to everybody, good seeing everybody. So, but uh, to fill in the gaps that you saw, uh, we went drag racing and uh, like I said, my GoPro is dead. So I, I just made do. Uh, we did all right at drag racing. I, it's my first time launching or trying to launch a manual car. It's drag strip. so. My 60 foot time could have been way better. The car I think is capable of way more than that, but you know, we're just out here having a good time. It still has all the gears in the transmission. So that is a very good win. And then right after drag racing, we uh, went back to our autocross pits and kind of waited for the burnout competition. You saw those clips there. Old Dylan McCool did a good burnout and uh, duct tape dart did a good burnout. It had a bunch of good burnouts. And then after the burnout competition, uh, buddy uh, Caleb invited us to go back to his mom and dad's house, go eat dinner. So we all loaded up and went out there and ate dinner. Didn't, you know, I'm not gonna film any of that. But we went back, ate dinner, and now we are back at the hotel for the night. It's about 11. Uh, the dart, the dart's done good. So far, done really well. And tomorrow morning, We'll go back to Beach Bend, and we'll be doing some some more autocrossing, but it's not going to be like the same course. It'll be what they call the the start steer stop challenge. So it's like a drag way, uh, a drag race. A, you do a hairpin, and then you stop in a box. So we're going to be doing that tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get to dyno the car. They shut the dyno down. I guess they shut it down early. There was a line of cars there, and they I rolled up over there. And uh, they said, now there's not enough time to put me on the dyno. So, oh, well, we won't get to see that I actually make like 150 wheel horsepower. But yeah, overall today was awesome. Really good time today. Um, tomorrow we're going to finish it off with, with our little bit of autocrossing. We'll go walk the show a little bit more, go meet up with a couple of folks that we didn't get to go meet up with today. And yeah, I'll pick up tomorrow morning. Good morning, day three of Mo Party. So today we're gonna be doing a little more autocrossing. 
and uh, rather than the normal track autocross deal today we're going to be doing the, the triple s challenge it's a start steer stop where you're going to do a drag race with somebody next to you you'll go around the curve and then you'll race back and stop in a box so i'm not really sure i guess, I guess it's just whoever gets there first is the winner but we're lined up uh, just did round one well we're lined up we're ready to go i just tightened my double adjustable qa1 shocks from nice ride to aggressive handling and i tell you that made a big difference it has been making a really big difference with the way it rides and the way it handled yesterday i set them up uh, to the drag setting for the drag strip and that seemed to help a lot so i don't know I'm playing it by ear we're gonna see what we can do see who can race Okay, we're coming up for our first round of the Triple S Challenge. I don't know if we're gonna run this neon in front of me or not. I hope we don't, because he's literally the fastest guy on the track. So, well, behind the Viper. So. Yeah, it looks like we're, we may be racing. about to lose to a viper. I got out on the Viper, so that was pretty neat. I had, a, I had Mr. Peter Bergman come up and say, how did, it, how did it feel to be in front of that Viper? That was pretty neat. Mr. Peter Bergman's got that, I don't know if you can tell or not, purple, purple dark slinger, plum crazy purple. He specializes in torsion bar suspension for these cars. He has a ton of awesome products. I'm running his lower control arm bushings. As I also have a set of his extended upper ball joints for the Valiant. So really, really cool car. He does a lot of autocross stuff with it. I believe it's a 408, uh, multi-port injection, five-speed. Mr. Brian with a 6.1 Hemi Duster. There goes Caleb. He, we went and ate dinner with his family last night. Awesome guy, awesome family. His mother gave me some bread. Nice folks. One thing I did not get much coverage on is the drag racing. 
they keep us pretty busy well, with the autocrossing and whatnot. So it's kind of hard to take the time, get out and run around, look at things. Now that is a unit. Beautiful color. Prospector, that's pretty neat. Beautiful color. successfully beat the bar out of it and not broke it so Just did our last run of the triple s challenge i think we're gonna load up head home it's about one now or it may be actually two i think it's one but oh you know we got about a six and a half seven hour drive ahead of us so we're gonna see if we can just hit the road um i didn't break the car as far as i can tell so that is a big win the car is still intact and so while it is still in one piece we're gonna hit the road See if we can make it home before dark. All right, so we left the track and I realized that I forgot to change my shock settings from uh, really stiff for autocross to a little lighter for the road. So I'm doing that. And uh, so my rear end, I've had a pinion seal leak. That's been kind of rough. And then uh, autocrossing has, uh, thrown a lot of fluid out of the vent so we got a we got a good drive ahead of us so i'm going to top off the rear end and uh, then we'll be ready to hit the road okay how much fluid do we not have oh hello brother oh brother, brother. okay all right All right, well, we didn't lose that much, turns out. Come on, start, start, there we go. All right, well, we didn't lose that much. We're still pretty full. Made a mess for nothing. Bought a quart for nothing. Um, it looks um, dirty. Well, I'll throw it back together. <laughs>
We're like two and a half hours from home. And uh, our last stop, I let dad drive, and I've just been sitting here watching the AFR gauge and uh, tuning on the aces, and I've got it running significantly better. I've been playing with my BE table, trying to get some V-cell lean spots out of it. And from what I can tell, reading AFR gauge, it's been doing a lot better. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing, but making it a little better. A little bit of bad weather, a little bit of rain, but nothing too bad. We'll be home in another two hours or so. Pretty neat. Stopped at a little gas station. Got a pool table. Hmm. Well, here we are. We have made it back from Holly Mo Party. The dart done extremely well. Way better than I really thought it would, being as, as it was kind of a, a newer setup on the thing. The Aces fuel injection performed really good. QA1 suspension did great. Cold case radiator kept me cool. American powertrain kept me rowing the gears, banging headlights, lighting the way. I was really glad to get out there and see everyone talk to everybody uh, and i had a bunch of people come up and say they watched the youtube videos so that that's really cool I, I appreciate everybody's support thank you everybody for watching and liking and commenting and all that it really means a lot i'm, I'm trying to grow a little bit so i appreciate everybody putting the effort in and and uh, watching my stuff and supporting me i would call that a successful road trip i think we were somewhere around 600 miles 700 miles something like that Anytime you can go six or 700 miles on an old car and not be on the side of the road, that's a good time. So appreciate everybody's support. We'll see you next time.